Hey guys, welcome to Brian with Brian's Lawn Maintenance. <laughs> what are you doing right now? <laughs> so much has how you do it? Yeah, welcome to Brian's Brian's Lawn Maintenance. So we got an unexpected snowstorm uh, what the last night we got two inches a little clipper system i wake up to a voicemail from mike bedell at 5 a.m and uh he's like dude it's time to go do some snow because he's like tracking the weather right so anyway why don't you show me what we got going on babe it's a mess yeah. it looks like we got a good i'd say two inches about two inches uh yeah i'd say one to two one to two it's nothing crazy enough to Make a plow run out of it and D is for Ford, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, no missed calls or texts yet, which is good. Uh, I was sleeping until about 8 in the morning and I woke up to that. Uh, so shame on me, but we weren't expecting to get any snow. And uh, it's funny, my friend Mike, he leaves me a voicemail. He goes, Yeah, there's only one or two times a year where this happens. And uh, we got like a clipper. But Mike's the weatherman, he's my weatherman. And, uh, Anyway, we're out and about. We got uh, our first commercial site we're doing. We're getting these guys a lane. They're open for business. Then we gotta go do our two retail sites. And man, it just never ends. And uh, yeah, you excited? Liz is like, can I go with you? Yeah, so I was sick for the last big snow event that we had. It was actually the first one like mid-January, yeah. but kind of weird. I'm excited to be out for this one and actually get you guys some uh, good footage because... You're you're my uh, plow, <laughs> plow lackey girl. You gotta jump plow out. Plow lackey? Yeah. You, plow boss lady? You're my plow boss. <laughs> my plow queen. Yeah. Yeah, right. But I hope you're not getting what I have because Dude, you... Dude, I woke up this morning with a sore throat. Last night I was not feeling good. This is not the time of the year to get sick. I've got so many projects I'm trying to work on right now, and uh, I'm working harder now than I was in the summer, I swear to God. Swear God. To God. Swear to God, man. So anyway, we're knocking this out. Um, this is a new commercial site we picked up. Actually, by the time you see this video, I would have dropped the video showing you guys the new commercial site. So you guys have already seen this one before. Uh, a little manufacturing plant I picked up just down the road from where I live, and uh, they're really good people. Oy. It's on a dirt road, which is well, it's not... Like a, it's like a good gravel drive. It's very different. It's different from anything we've done before. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways. So the last time I did this site, it took me about 45 minutes because I was trying to capture a bunch of footage for YouTube. Uh, these guys aren't open on Saturdays and Sundays, obviously. So it was really like no, no rush. But now let's see how long it actually takes us to knock this thing out. Uh, all said and done. Looks like we're, uh, we'll be out here in what, 15 minutes, babe? This yeah, probably, about. This not even that long. Nothing crazy. Can I just say how weird it is to plow in the sunlight? I have never, we never get to really go get to go out when it's sunny. Usually it's like 4 a.m. Like, get your stuff together, <laughs> yeah. woman, let's go. One question I had was, do you guys prefer plowing snow at night when it's dark, or do you guys like plowing during the day when it's light? I like plowing at night, man. I can't stand when people are out and about. It's so frustrating. Like, I understand everybody's got jobs and work and life to do, you know, but like during the snowstorm, I, I brought this up and it was so funny. Last time um, I was at the gym and I was sharing a story to another guy. He's like, do you have a long, you know, two days plowing snow? And I said, yeah. I go, yeah, it was just crazy because where we live next door to us is like the world's largest soccer tournament place. What do you call it, babe? Total soccer. soccer. Super popular place. A lot of people that watch the videos know of it. It's huge in Metro Detroit, Michigan, and all the little like you know nine-year-old kids and even adults and stuff play soccer there. Well, I go out to walk our dog at what time? Babe? 8 a.m. Uh, the snowstorm ended about 3 p.m. and I hear yeah from like 400 little kids <laughs> that just scored a goal. And I look through the woods from where our you know broom closet apartment is, and the, I'm like the whole parking lot's full of moms in Tahoes and Escalades with their kids playing freaking soccer. Gotta go to soccer. It's a five inch snowstorm, man. And
Bedell's on the phone. We're talking to Bedell. It's recording right now. <laughs> Mike, you can say what up to the fam. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Alright guys, quick little intermission transmission here. We got the 518 snowblower and it's actually doing a good job. Crazy story, the one I had, uh, it wouldn't pull start. It wouldn't pull at all. So Weingarts was like, are you kidding me? And that's what I said. And so they swapped it out again, no questions asked. And uh, we're back in business. So this guy has been a little tank. Um, you guys can see the sidewalks down here. Looking pretty free-ish. And then there's a corner lot there, all the way down, yay. Um, overall, not too bad. Uh, now we're starting to tackle up some of the residentials, but anyway, just want a quick update. Uh, 518, it's pretty good. It's a little underpowered, but it's only three and a half, four horsepower, whatever it is. It's not like my Toro 721s and 621s. Um, but for just doing the sidewalks, I think it'll be a good snowblower. Uh, this is the third property I've used it on so far. It's one o'clock, been out here for about three hours now. And um, yeah, it's a pretty good little snowblower. Um, whatever, it's getting the job done. Anyway, all right, just want to give you guys an update, let you guys know how that snowblower is working out, and uh, I'll capture some more footage when I can. I shut my eyes, trying not to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming. I smell your breath, not listening, but I still hear you screaming. Going under. One step away till you hear what I'm saying. Sounds like thunder. And the clouds are closing in. You see, I know this, but the last days in real life I've noticed. Losing focus, breaking up from our life as we know it. If someone had told me that I
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this snow vlog. Uh, this is our unexpected two inch snowstorm. I still gotta tackle a bunch of residentials. Uh, funny story with the snowblower by the way. We oh, went yeah. up to Wine Guards. They swapped it out for us, no questions asked. They're uh, awesome. Yeah, Aaron, James, Ted, they're, uh, they, they take care of us. They take care of a lot of people that go up there. It was, uh, it's just weird, it just wouldn't start. It was like, he's like, really dude, you found the second bad apple in a batch? And uh, I was like, yep. He goes, had to happen to you. Leave I go. He goes, they're like, they're laughing. They're like, is this gonna make it on the vlog? I go, ah, probably. You know, they're they're funny. They watch the videos. They don't they don't really care. They're they're good 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 guys up there. So, anyway, hopefully uh, the 518 performs well for me after I uh, get done with this one. I'm gonna drop Liz off. By the way, if you guys appreciate the snow uh, plowing <laughs> footage in the vlog, thank Liz because she's my camera girl. Um, last time we didn't get any, you know, better snow plowing footage. It was just all the GoPro stuff because you were sick. I was sick. You I can't out. believe, I don't really typically get sick and man, I'm still, it was a week ago today that I like started feeling sick and I'm yeah. still not 100%. So whatever that was, was like, yeah, you, to take me out, I'm pretty stubborn. Yeah. So. so everybody say thanks Liz for the vlog. Thanks Liz for all the, uh. <laughs> Uh, footage. Of I course, love being on the adventure too. Nobody, nobody thanks me though for editing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we'll save. Editing is the, uh, the yeah. fun stuff, you know. But all right, over now we'll catch up with you guys. If you guys keep getting these snowstorms and clippers, let us know because you know what it pays the bills, keeps the money coming in. We're gonna have another one tomorrow. Looking another three to five inches on uh, Monday or Tuesday, a couple days from now. So never ends. Hopefully you guys appreciate this stuff. All right, we'll catch up with you guys here. <laughs> Bye.